Welcome to the Rolling Yogi YouTube channel. For the month of April, we are focusing in on balance. And in order to balance, the breath connect is very important. So that's what we'll be focusing on today. So grab your blocks and meet me on the mat. So you're going to bring both of your blocks, one at a little bit above the middle of the mat, and then the other one is going to go right above at the top of the mat. We're going to be lying back into su supported fish pose. So just come to your bum, soles of the feet down onto the mat, and then using hands and forearms, gently start to roll down onto blocks. Now if you need to adjust blocks, please come up off of the blocks to do so. So you want that lower block to be right at the edge of your scapula or shoulder blades. You want the shoulder blades to be spilling off the top of that block so you get a nice release in the back. You don't want to feel any pinching in the lumbar spine. And then that top block is meant for your head. So here we start to breathe deep. Deep belly breath, inhale, feeling the belly rise. Full belly breath, exhale. So having the chest and shoulders open in this way helps us to really gain the full benefit of the breath and also makes the breath a little more accessible. So just visualize the breath. Maybe you attach your favorite color to it. Visualize it as it runs through the body. On your next inhale, we're gonna slowly bring the soles of the feet to the mat, gently roll up using forearms, using hands, and remove the blocks. Set them off to the side. Coming all the way down to the belly, we're gonna go into crocodile pose. So stacking hands, resting your forehead down on tops of the hands. Now throughout your asana practice, your physical practice, or if you're meditating, whatever the case may be, if you feel like you have ventured too far away from the breath, this is a great posture to practice in order to regain the breath. Because it really allows you to feel the depth and the clarity of your inhale and your exhale. So as you inhale, feel the belly as it presses into the mat. And as you exhale, feel the belly button as it draws back toward the spine. The tops of the feet onto the floor. And on your next inhale, softly lift the head, bring the hands right underneath the shoulders. And we're gonna pop it up into our plank pose. So nice stability pose. Plank really fires up the prana. You have to breathe here. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Really work that core. Fire up through that prana. One long line of energy shooting out from the crown of the head to the backs of the heels. And then pressing the ground away with the hands, we're going to shift it back into our downward facing dog. Pedal out the legs. Create space. Make sure that there's space between shoulders and ears. Come up onto the toes, bend the knees. Maybe you do little bitty hops, pulling up and through the core to the top of the mat. Inhale for a nice half lift. Exhale as you forward fold, Uttanasana. Then we're gonna root through the feet, bend the knees and rise all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. And take it all the way back down. Forward fold, bend the knees. Inhale for your half lift. Exhale as you fold. And root to rise. So some half sun salutes. No better way to connect to the prana than to run through some sun salutation. Cactus the arms. Shine the heart forward and then inhale, bring the arms back up. Exhale as you hinge from hips, forward fold. Feeling a nice stretch and elongation through the low back. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, root to rise. And as you exhale again, open that chest, really take that big breath. Inhale, lift, exhale, hinge forward. So really creating a lot of space through our lungs to really get that big capacity breath in. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Root down through the feet to rise back up. 
And again, cactus the arms, shine the heart forward, take your gaze up, inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge from hips, forward fold. Inhale, root, half lift, rise. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands, this time we're gonna step it back to your plank pose. Shift forward, your call, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale for cobra or up dog, connect to that breath. Exhale, downward facing dog. Rise to the toes, bend the knees, take little hops or one big step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Root down, rise. Cactus the arms, shine the heart, really open through the chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Maybe you try to close the eyes this time. Really turn inward. Listen to the breath. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Let the breath move your body. Jump or step back, plank pose. Knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Inhale for cobra or up dog. Exhale for your downward facing dog. So let the breath move the body. Inhale, rise to toes, bend the knees. Exhale, jump or step forward. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Feel the breath like a dance. Inhale, rise. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take it back down. It's really revving up through the prana. Be connected here. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hand, step it back. So it's not so much about achieving any sort of perfection in your pose today. Flow through your vinyasa. It's more so about really being able to hone in and connect that breath to the movement. Rise to toes from down dog, bend the knees, step or hop forward. Half lift on the inhale. Exhale as you fold. Root down, rise all the way up. Cactus the arms or bring them straight to your third eye center, all the way down to your heart. Feeling the breath, feeling the prana, the energy, the heartbeat. Feel free to run through another three sun salutations with your own variations. Or maybe this is where you end for the day, always knowing that this video is here for you to revisit. The Rolling Mat signing off. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.